The entire surface of the shuttle is a masterpiece of thermodynamic design. The underside of the fuselage is covered with a jigsaw puzzle of 35,000 individually fitted silica tiles. Each tile is numbered and cut to conform exactly to the contour of the skin. The tile material conducts the heat of reentry away from the orbiter so efficiently that after coming out of a 2,000 degree test furnace, it can be picked up by the bare hand in just a second. As seen in infrared footage, the orbiter's surfaces were designed to withstand different temperatures. The nose cone, which sustains direct collision with the atmosphere, is made of solid carbon. Other parts are covered with heat-resistant blankets, stitched across the surface of the orbiter like a nicely fitted overcoat. But nothing required the labor or the leap of faith like the tiles. In the late 70s, it looked as if they might not do the job. It's a standing joke around here that many of the tiles have been removed and installed as much as five or six times. They make it sound like it's a lick em and stick em, put the glue on it and stick them to the back of the shuttle. But I tell you, it's a real intense, complicated process. 335 man years had gone into installing the tiles by the time astronauts Robert Crippen and John Young took the first shuttle ride all the way home. Well, we really had no idea what to expect, and we went to all these meetings where people said the tiles would come off. But it was really this absolutely magical piece of machinery. It uh, maintains a temperature that's outside a vehicle. On the nose cone, it's uh, 3,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Inside a vehicle, the temperature is 68 degrees Fahrenheit. The uh, thermal tiles maintain that. And so uh, the hard work of the people that put those tiles on, it paid off. <laughs> 